In this video, we'll be taking a look at one NFL game happening on October 30th, 2023, and providing you with a free team pick and total pick for this game. So two picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this one NFL game after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Las Vegas Raiders vs. Detroit Lions In the NFL, Week 8 concludes with an interconference showdown in the Motor City. The Las Vegas Raiders hit the road for a Monday night football clash against the Detroit Lions. Last week, Las Vegas suffered a resounding 30-12 defeat at the hands of the Bears on the road, while Detroit was on the receiving end of a punishing 38-6 loss to Baltimore, failing to cover the three-point underdog line. Historically, the Raiders hold a 7-6 edge in their regular season series with the Lions, including a 31-24 home victory in their most recent meeting back on November 3, 2019, when the team was still based in Oakland. The Las Vegas Raiders currently stand at 3-4 for the season after a 30-12 loss to the Chicago Bears last week. Las Vegas found themselves trailing 14-3 at halftime, and their fortunes did not improve in the second half. They were outgained by the Bears 323 to 235 and coughed up the football three times. While the Raiders had previously won two consecutive home games against the Patriots and the Packers, they now seek their second road win to reach a .500 record. Unfortunately, the Raiders have lost three consecutive road games. Quarterback Brian Hoyer has completed 54.8% of his passes for 231 yards, with no touchdowns and two interceptions. Receivers Devontae Adams and Jacoby Mayers have combined for 913 receiving yards and 8 touchdowns, while Josh Jacobs has added 26 receptions. The Raiders' ground game has been averaging 68.6 .6 yards per contest, with Jacobs leading the way with 347 yards and 2 touchdowns. Defensively, Las Vegas has allowed an average of 23 points and 316.4 yards per game, with Robert Spillane leading the Raiders with 57 tackles, Max Crosby contributing 6.5 sacks, and Trevon Morig notching 2 interceptions. The Las Vegas offense averages 16 points per game with 215.6 passing yards and 68.6 rushing yards per game. Jimmy Garoppolo has thrown for 1,079 yards, 7 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions this season. Josh Jacobs has rushed for 347 yards and 2 touchdowns, while Devontae Adams has caught 46 passes for 528 yards and 3 scores. The Las Vegas defense concedes an average of 23 points per game this year. The Detroit Lions, with a 5-2 record, look to bounce back after suffering a 38-6 loss to the Baltimore Ravens last week. Detroit struggled to keep up in that game, allowing 28 unanswered points in the first half. They were outgained by Baltimore with a total yardage difference of 503 to 337 and suffered four turnovers on downs. Nevertheless, the Lions had previously won four consecutive games against Tampa Bay, Carolina, Green Bay, and Atlanta. With their 5 to 2 record, the Detroit Lions aim to improve to 6 to 2 and maintain their lead in the National Football Conference North. The Lions have won five of their last six home games. Quarterback Jared Goff has been impressive, completing 68% of his passes for 1,900. 102 yards, 11 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions. Receivers Amon Ross St. Brown and Josh Reynolds have combined for 941 receiving yards and 6 touchdowns, while Sam Laporta has caught 35 passes. The Lions' ground game has been averaging 118.4 yards per contest, with David Montgomery leading the way with 385 yards and 6 touchdowns. Defensively, Detroit allows an average of 22 points and 316.9 yards per game, with Alex Anzalone leading the Lions' Lions with 50 tackles, Aiden Hutchinson contributing 4.5 sacks, and Jerry Jacobs tallying three interceptions. The Detroit offense scores an average of 25 points per game, with 258.6 passing yards and 118.4 rushing yards per game. Jared Goff has thrown for 1,902 yards, 11 touchdowns, and four 
interceptions this season. Jomer Gibbs has rushed for 247 yards and one touchdown, while Amon Ross St. Brown has caught 51 passes for 557 yards and three scores. The Detroit defense concedes an average of 22 points per game this season. The Lions' recent game against the Ravens was anticipated as a benchmark matchup, set to establish a narrative for two mid-season fringe contenders hailing from different conferences. However, the result was far from serving as a measuring stick. In a 32-point loss, the Lions found themselves so outclassed that they needed an exceptionally long tape measure just to gauge the vast gulf that separated them from the Ravens. While steadfast supporters of the Detroit team might attribute the loss to a difficult situation, citing a crowded injury report and an early loss of control in the game, there's growing concern about the Lions' defense and its capacity to support a deep playoff run. This will mark the first meeting between the Lions and the Las Vegas Raiders. The last time these two teams faced off was in 2019 in Oakland with the Raiders prevailing 31-24 while also covering the spread as minus two and a half point favorites. The Lions offense had a tough time against the Ravens last week due to the Ravens having the best scoring defense. The Raiders, on the other hand, have faced opponents with starting quarterbacks who rank 16th or lower in passing yards this season, which somewhat skews their top five pass defense, allowing only 187.4 yards per game. They also have some uncertainties in their defensive backfield entering this game, with starters Nate Hobbs and Marcus Peters both limited in practice this week. This situation sets the stage for Goff to have a stellar performance. In his three starts at Ford Field this season, he has thrown eight touchdowns and only one interception. Detroit boasts a 2-1 against the spread record at home this year and is 4-1 against the spread in their last five games. The Detroit Lions are determined to put their disappointing performance against the Ravens behind them. Following their previous loss this season, they bounce back by defeating the Falcons by 14 points and holding them to under 200 yards. On the other hand, the Las Vegas Raiders have struggled across the board, ranking 30th in scoring offense and 22nd in scoring defense. Even with the anticipated return of Jimmy Garoppolo, Las Vegas still ranks dead last in the league in rushing offense, making them somewhat one-dimensional. The Raiders have struggled in the turnover game, ranking 31st by committing 15 turnovers while they are 30th in takeaways with five. Detroit is motivated to bounce back and has had a strong season overall. Although Las Vegas has won two of their last three games. They are only one to three on the road this year. The Raiders' offense has underperformed this season, and they face a tough challenge in this game. Even with a less than stellar defense, the Lions still outshine teams like Las Vegas. Last season, Detroit ranked fifth in points scored and 28th in points allowed. The football aficionados were ecstatic when the Lions held Kansas City to 20 points in their season opener and kept their opponents to 20 points or fewer in two of the subsequent three games. However, it's now apparent that Detroit's defense may not be as strong as initially thought. Although their record currently places them at the top of the National Football Conference North with a 5-2 standing, the Lions closely resemble their 9-8 division runner-up from the previous season. Their offense thrives when their key players are healthy, often needing to perform at their best to secure victories because their defense isn't dependable enough to contain formidable opponents. This is exemplified by Detroit's tendency to concede 28 or more points in games against competitive teams like Philadelphia, Minnesota, Seattle, New England, Miami, Buffalo, Chicago, and Carolina last year. Most recently, they allowed 37 or more points in matchups against Seattle and Baltimore this year. Fortunately for Detroit in this particular contest, the Raiders' offense doesn't belong to the league's elite, and they are expected to struggle regardless of their quarterback situation or the strength of the opposing defense. With a rather modest 3-4 record, most individuals tend to tread cautiously when it comes to criticizing the Vegas team. However, it's important to be clear, the Raiders can be considered one of the weaker teams in football. This week, they face off against the Lions in a primetime showdown. Detroit is well equipped to stifle the Raiders' running game, ranking second in the league in run defense. With the Raiders dealing with injury concerns in the cornerback position, Goff and his teammates should find opportunities to exploit the Las Vegas defense. Detroit is eager to put last week's loss behind them, and they appear to be the stronger team overall. The Lions, after a disappointing loss that left them frustrated, are likely eager to secure a convincing victory at home under the glare of the national spotlight. While the line is substantial, it is difficult to have confidence in the Raiders given their current form and injury status. So the Detroit Lions to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick.
The Raiders have had five of their seven games this season go under the total. They have split the totals in their four road games, staying under the number against the Broncos and the Chargers, while surpassing the total in games against Buffalo and Chicago. The Lions, in contrast, have seen the total go over in four of their seven games this season. In their three home games, they exceeded the total against Seattle and Carolina but fell short in their win over Atlanta. Considering the Lions' success against mediocre defenses and the possibility of them scoring 30 or more points in this game, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.